solar panel will start rotating in this direction right and for example if i'll move my mobile in this direction then the solar panel will, uh, will start rotating in this direction like right? so it will follow my mobile phone my mobile phone is just like a sun source over here right hello friends today our project is automatic solar tracker using arduino and ldr sensor ldr means light dependent resistor so this is our project now we are going to study our project in detail So this is the solar panel. The solar panel will receive the light and convert it into electrical energy. And these are the two LDR sensors, this one and this one. These two LDR sensors sense the light amount around the sensor, uh, around the solar panel, right? And uh, these two LDR provide the analog signal and this signal will go to the uh, voltage divider configuration, which is here below the Arduino board. I'll show you that in circuit diagram, right? And this is the Arduino microcontroller, Arduino Uno, right? It will get the analog data from this sensor and this sensor and accordingly it will provide the data or you can say signal to the servo motor. This is the servo motor. This is the servo motor over here, right? This servo motor will rotate according to the data coming from the microcontroller, right? And this is the battery. This battery will provide the power to the Arduino board because uh, this is a small solar panel. It won't be able to provide so much amount of power which can run all the systems, right? And this is the power indicator. Right now there is a light on the solar panel. That's why this indicator is only. For example, I hide the uh, solar panel from the light, right? Then this LED is almost off, right? And this LED on when the light is falling on the solar panel. So it's just an indicator. I have used over here a diode. Diode will filter the current and uh, diode will rectify the current over here, right? And uh, this is the jack. Through this jack, you can take the output of the solar panel and you can use that output to charge the battery or some other purpose, right? So this is the output connector and these are the wiring of the solar panel. And this is the battery to which you can provide power to the Arduino. And in turn, Arduino will provide power to the servo motor as well, which will rotate according to the light present in the environment, right? So the amount of light is very high over here. So I have to use uh, some low light source because it will track the light. Already there is a lot of light present. Now I'm going to provide the light to the uh, solar panel, these two sensors, it will track the light, right? If the light intensity is in this direction, then solar panel will rotate in this direction. If the light intensity is more in this direction, then the solar panel will rotate on that direction, right? So through this, I can change the value. For example, right now there is a constant light, okay? But uh, if I'll provide more light over here, so it will rotate in this direction and if we'll provide more, uh, provide more light in this direction then the solar panel will rotate in that direction. So first of all I am going to provide the power supply to the board. Right now. Now it will it, it will rotate in the direction where it found the maximum light and will stop where the light is constant on both these two sensors. For example if I move in this direction like this is the light source over here right. In my mobile phone this is the light source if this light source will fall on this sensor then solar panel will start rotating in this direction right and for example if i'll move my mobile in this direction then the solar panel will, uh, will start rotating in this direction like right? so it will follow my mobile phone my mobile phone is just like a sun source over here right like uh, if you will apply the solar panel in the open environment then sun will be the source of light over there right so this small light is just like a sun over here so if the light intensity will move in that direction then solar panel will, will move in that direction if the light intensity will move in this direction, then the solar panel will start rotating in this direction. And as you know that the one maximum uh, angle of the sun around us is 180 degree. So this servo motor is also rotating 180 degree, right? For example, the sun will rise from this direction and will down in that direction. So for example, sun is rotating like this, right? So it will also start rotating like this. You can change the effect in between as well, right? it will follow the sun source as simple as that right Right, and for example, if I'll hide the amount, if I'll stop my uh, light source over here, then it will, it will also stop over here, right? 
because sun is stationary over here if sun will move in this direction it will start rotating in that direction if sun will move in this direction it will start rotating in this direction and if i'll hide then light will be off so this is the indicator this is the indicator over here this indicator is off because there is no light source and if there will be a light source then this indicator become on so it's all about your solar tracker thank you